Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Modern Men. Today we're talking about these guys. A brand that I've heard of, but really thought nothing of um, until I went looking for kind of a contemporary um, looking shoe. Yep, all birds. And these happen to be the Tree Flyer 2. What do we think of them? Do we like them? Will we recommend them? Let's talk about it. So let's talk about the colorway. Do we like it? So here's a little better image of the colorway. And I'll put pictures up so you guys can see them. But very angular, very contemporary. I don't want to say Prada-esque. This is kind of like all your shoe brands kind of rolled into one. I'd see a little Cole Haan, a little Nike a little uh, Adidas going on, um, and obviously all birds kind of rolled in together. But I'll put some other pictures up so you guys have them. So what do I think of these? How do they run size-wise? Um, do I suggest running in these? All these different things. So let's talk the easiest thing for me first, sizing. I am always, 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 I tell people I'm a nine and a half in Nike and Adidas. Um, Brooks kind of goes all over and same with A6. On A6 I'm traditionally a nine and a half but sometimes it's we go all over but Brooks is one I usually have to go up to a ten um, and they don't fit great but Nike and Adidas I'm a nine and a half and a D. I have a narrow-ish foot but not narrow. So how do these fit? These actually ran a little bit big for me. Uh, I've never worn or worn um, all birds before, so I didn't know really what to think of them size-wise. People said they ran true to size. Some people said they ran too big. Some people ran they too small. Very subjective, so that's why I'm here to do this. Um, they ran big for me. Um, now, marginally bigger than some, yes. Would I go down to a nine? No. Uh, I think like some of us, my, my right foot is actually bigger than my left foot, so I usually try shoes on on my right foot, and if that fits me, that's kind of what I go with, no matter how the left one fits. Unfortunately, that guy kind of gets left out. So I've worn these casually. I've worn these running. Um, I've worn these really everything on the sun worked out in these. And what, do I, what are my thoughts? Um, one, are they a running shoe? Uh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say this is a, I don't want to use this term, but I'm going to tell you a dad shoe like me. Uh, I'm in my 40s and a shoe that I want that's a little more hip, a little more comfortable. That's not an on racing shoe that everybody and their grandmother has. So I like what Allbirds is doing. I love that there's innovation within this marketplace. But are they as comfortable as my uh, other Nikes or my Glycerins or no, not even close. Um, I think they're okay. Uh, it minds, if a little bit reminds me of the feel of a Boost Light. Not nearly as soft as the Boost, but in that world, I would say. Um, I don't, I wouldn't run in these ever again. I tried and just didn't like them. I think it's more of a casual shoe. I know people say this is a running shoe. This is, again, not a shoe I would suggest for running. Um, casually, are they good? Yeah, I think it's a great looking shoe. I've worn these with joggers a couple times um, and some Vueri pants and that kind of stuff. And I love them. I, I think that's a very cool shoe for that application. Um, do I think you can also work out in them? Yeah, sure. Listen, could you do CrossFit and lift weights and, and go rowing and stuff in these? Yeah, 100%. Uh, the only thing I would see, this heel part is a little goofy. Um, it's, again, I'd say very Nike-esque. Um, and I get it. Listen, I'm not going to pick on these guys. But I like the shoe overall. I really like this colorway. I think it's great. Would I suggest this for an everyday casual shoe? Yeah, I've worn this a lot. Um, things I found interesting with this shoe is, um, as you guys can see here, this part of the toe. Um, I don't know if there's a real reason behind that, um, but it's neat, the kind of sym symmetry with some of their shoe parts. You can see they put the triangles in. I I've read feedback with this part of the, the, the midsole. People saying it looks like your shoes are dirty. Not in person, it doesn't. I mean, maybe it does when you're looking at it online, but when you get it, it's silver. Um, it's actually a very cool looking shoe. The other thing I read feedback is people say these are hard to get on and off. I totally disagree. I mean, I guess if you're not used to a running shoe, if you wear, you know, 998 New Balance, you know, and it opens super wide and you can get into it, yeah, it, it, it's harder to get on than those. But if you're wearing a modern shoe like a Nike 
really anything, Adidas, they all have a kind of a sock-like fit. Um, some other things I really liked about this shoe was the liner, uh, the Achilles. So you think the sock liner is kind of it. Uh, it's really, really cushioned around your heel and Achilles. Really like that. I love like the tiny little graphics they do on there. I just really overall like the aesthetic of the shoe. Um, I knew going in this was not going to be a shoe I want to run a marathon in. Um, but overall, I think Allbirds has done a great job. The guy like me um, who wants a shoe that's comfortable, can wear to work, can run errands, can go to your kid's soccer game. Um, and if you want to work out, if you're traveling and want to, you know, get a real quick workout in, these are great for that. Um, I, I commend guys like Allbirds. And this kind of reminds me of a little Cole Haan-esque, um, but I commend guys like Allbirds who are going to think outside the box and create something that really it, it's hitting an, a, a niche, a niche um, out there that really isn't there. I mean, outside of, again, of on racing, and no offense to people from on racing, uh, there aren't been a lot, many options. Um, you know, I know the popular thing this year has been Vans, or the last couple of years has been Vans. I'm not wearing Vans. I mean, I, I'd rather wear Crocs than I would Vans, but again, just me. Uh, but overall, I like these. Would I, would I rank these out of 10? <sighs> An eight, eight and a half out of 10. Um, not as comfortable as some. Um, I love the aesthetics. I hopefully they'll get some little more cushioning. Um, and, and these aren't hard. Um, this kind of reminds me of, uh, and I'll put the picture of one of Brooks' r running shoes and almost even the color as well. Um, but overall, I like them. Again, run true to size, but don't be shocked if they run a little long for you. Um, Width-wise, they were probably spot on. Um, but overall, I like them a lot. Uh, you know, it opened my eyes because I never, two months ago, never would have thought about ordering shoes from Allbirds. And I know there's a huge Allbirds following uh, with people. Um, but again, this was not a shoe that was really ever on my radar. Um, so, but, but kudos to them. Uh, which, what I also show, and I'll kind of show you guys here, how they come in a box is a little strange. Um, they jam these things in. You know, they really jam these shoes in here. Um, but again, like them a lot. I think it's cool. I think I know they're very uh, into nature and not trying to destroy, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. But overall, I like them. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll put the link on uh, the description. I'm not, I'm not on a commission. Again, I'm, this is unbiased reviews of really just what I think of these. But I like them. Um, I think they're very cool for what they are. I, no complaints. Um, they're just not going to be your most softest uh, running shoe you've ever worn. But overall... Very good job by these guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching Modern Men. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, and anything you guys want to see that we're not covering, uh, let me know, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.